There is already an ambulance here. That's it, mate. So it's handy. I'm assuming you don't want to be in it, though. You direct me to the nearest Asda. That's it. You're joking. Yeah. That way? That way. Someone told me it was this way. Either she's lying or you're lying, lad. Or if you go down there, particularly, don't it? God, you've got a gravelly voice. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Style like, haven't you? It's like your vocal cords have just been tarmacked. Yeah, yeah, tarmac. Can I show you your spliff hat? Can you show me your spliff hat? Yes. I presume it's the hat you're already wearing and I'm looking yeah. at it. But the fact that you want to show me it, I imagine, involves another layer of revelation. Yes. So you're going to take it off and something remarkable is Certainly going to happen. Layer, but I, I, feel, I feel like it's a rhetorical question because I feel like I'm going to get shown the spliff hat regardless of my response. Would you allow someone else to talk, please? As eccentric as you are, I'm double eccentric. You're double eccentric? I don't wear underwear. Is that double eccentric or is that just careless? That little zip part there, which is hidden. That's for, that's for your jagweed. That's for the stash. The jagweed, yeah. It's called the stash. Obviously, the police know about this. The poli uh, hang on, the police know about your spliff hat. They've, yeah. had, they've had meetings, you've been on a projector. So what do you do? Take your hat off you. You open your zip pod, take the stash off you, and give you a £50 fine. Right. Really, uh, you've got a billion pounds of drugs on you. Oh, I see. So the spliff hat. It's a diverse... So, so I thought I was going to see a magic trick, but you're actually talking about misdirection anyway. Yeah. So the principles are the same. Exactly. And I think you should be the next James Bond. I think you should be the next mayor of Heighton. Dirty! <laughs> Dirty! It's a wonderful fringe, sir. Thank you for shopping at the Heighton, now, sir. You're all set for essentials, sir. All set for what? Essentials. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was referencing the toilet paper in a oh, subtle right. manner. Someone's going to be happy with you when you get home, and yeah. you know it. Well done. Dad or husband points coming to you. I hope you didn't have to clean up anything too gruesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take the rest of the day off. You're looking smart there, kid. You're looking smart there, kid. Thank you for shopping at the Height Nasda, sir. What? Thank you for shopping at the Height Nasda. Nice one. Nice one, you. Thank you for shopping at the Height Nasda. Thank you very much. You're very, very, very welcome. Thank you have the, you have the, you have the most <laughs> wonderfully feminine gestures. Do you know oh, that? Thank you. I've, yeah. got, I've, I've come out with new makeup on as well. Never. Yeah. Not with that skin tone. Are you joking oh, me? Thank you. You look phenomenal. Let's do it. Thank you. Did you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no. What's thank your name? You. Abby. Abby. Lovely to meet you. Uh, Ab Abby IE or Y? Abby Y. Abby Y. All right, you're an 11. In Scrabble. One, three, three, four. Oh, I thought you meant like an 11 out of 10. Well, you are. Oh, so we do. 11 across the board. Bye ding, God. ding, 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 ding. Bye. Hello there. How are you? It's just as a security. Um, got no problem with what you're doing. Just, uh, just be careful. On. Be careful? Yeah. Just in case you make any comments or anything. If I make any comments? Yeah, yeah. So I've been told by my GSM mate. Uh, be careful and remember where you are. As in the GSM knows some sort of heavy folk in Heighton who make my life a misery. Just in case you insult somebody and someone doesn't take your joke very nicely. Oh, so you're not, you're not concerned about the shop, you're concerned about my personal safety. Just making sure no one gets here today. Exactly. No, I understand. There is already an ambulance here, just in case I do get panned. That's it, mate. So it's handy. I'm assuming you don't want to be in it, though. No, <laughs> ideally not. What's your name? Anthony. You're a legend. I'm sorry you've been put in this position, Anthony. Don't worry about it, mate. But you dealt with it like a champion. Thank you. Do you need a hand pushing your trolley? It's very well coordinated. Thank you for shopping at the Height Nasda. I'm sorry about the folk blocking your passage. What? I'm sorry about the people blocking your passage. Enjoy your pasty.